I am struggling to express in words just how significant of a discovery this is. What has just been announced in relation to the pyramids at the Giza Plateau and the plateau itself is so incredible, so awe-inspiring and narrative-shattering that I've been sitting here for the last hour trying to wrap my head around the implications of what we were just told. This is pretty much breaking news as the new findings were announced on March 16th at a press conference held by the team studying the Great Pyramid of Giza. They used a non-invasive technology first developed by Filippo Biondi and Cardmanga called Synthetic Aperture Radar Doppler Tomography. This method leverages the analysis of micro-movements, typically generated by background seismic activity, to achieve high-resolution, full three-dimensional tomographic imagery of the pyramid's interior and subsurface components. The recent findings from deploying this technology are nothing short of mind-blowing. What's been discovered is that there are huge structures extending down from the base of the pyramid deep into the bedrock in fact, over 600 meters deep, which then connect to structures that extend up to two kilometers below the surface of the ground. Two kilometers. Massive internal structures connected to the base of the pyramid and extending deep, deep down. This is what we know so far. Utilizing high-resolution radar images from Capella Space and Umbra, two private companies specializing in satellite-based synthetic aperture. Radar imaging, researchers have created a three-dimensional model of the internal structure of the Great Pyramid of Giza. This model has revealed a previously unknown chamber with five horizontal levels and a sloping roof, an architectural design unlike anything previously documented in the Giza pyramids. But the most shocking discovery lies beneath the surface, below ground level. Radar tomography has identified vertical cylindrical structures extending for hundreds of meters beneath the pyramid. There are eight of these cylindrical wells arranged in two parallel rows, descending to an astonishing depth of 648 meters. Even more intriguing, at the base of these structures are two massive cubic formations, each measuring approximately 80 meters in diameter. The tomographic data suggests these are vertical wells with intricate spiral pathways. This design not only implies a functional purpose, but also a level of sophisticated engineering that completely blows the dynastic Egyptian model out of the water. I mean, the pyramid itself was already a massive red flag in the ancient Egyptian historical narrative. But now with this discovery, I think it's becoming impossible to argue that the Egyptian civilizations we've been taught about were responsible for building these structures. And it doesn't even end there. The radar analysis extends beneath the entire Giza Plateau, revealing interconnected structures beneath not only the Great Pyramid of Giza, but also those of Khufu and Menkara. The subsurface network reaches down to a staggering depth of approximately two kilometers. This is simply not possible within the standard historical and archaeological narrative we've been given about ancient Egypt. Now I'm hearing there is more to come. A four-hour presentation by the research team is expected to be released, which will go into every detail of their findings. This current announcement seems like a strategic release of incredible data ahead of time to get people interested. And I am more interested in this than basically anything else right now, because this is by far the most provocative piece of evidence yet for not only a potential technological explanation for the purpose of the Giza complex, but also for the existence of a pre-flood era civilization that was flourishing in a way we can scarcely comprehend. It's also possible that this spiraling cylindrical series of structures or staircases. And I can't help but think of the channeled writings of Thoth the Atlantean, the Emerald Tablets, speaking of a lost hall of records, a sacred hall of knowledge below the Giza Plateau, the Halls of Amenti. Could this be the lost hall of records from the pre-flood era? Obviously, this discovery is extremely controversial, 
It runs in direct contradiction to the established narratives in status quo and mainstream academia on these issues. This will cause big waves throughout both the academic world and beyond, if they can fully evidence these findings. But the results so far seem pretty clear. There is significant structural engineering taking place deep below the pyramids and the Giza Plateau in general. So, has this changed your mind about the pyramids? Has this strengthened your position on what they might have been? Has this new discovery given you any new ideas about the implications? Let me know in the comments section below. And honestly, everyone share this far and wide. This is such interesting stuff. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll just have to see where this goes. Because rest assured, I'll be keeping a very close eye on any coming announcements and updates on this issue. This plays directly into one of my main interests, which is, of course, prehistorical civilizational implications. What was going on before the global cataclysm? Well, I think moments like this might finally shed light on that question. If you found this as mind-blowing as I did, smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on the bell. Because this is just the beginning. Drop your thoughts below. What do you think is beneath the Giza Plateau? Because the past isn't what we've been told. And the truth is rising from the depths of the unknown.